everyone. I'm Dania Sari from the Developer Relations team at Near Protocol. I'm streaming in from New York City, where we are celebrating the reopening of the city that never sleeps. Near Protocol is a next gen carbon neutral blockchain, and it's a layer one blockchain, which just means that it's a unique base blockchain protocol, just like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Near is backed by some of the top VCs in Silicon Valley, such as A16Z, Electra Capital, and IDEO Collabs. Our team spent over two years in the research and building phase, and we launched our mainnet only about six months ago, so we're definitely the new kid on the block. But our guiding philosophy is that blockchain technology should be accessible to everyone. Thus, we built a consumer-centric blockchain that's designed to unlock blockchain mass adoption. NIR is a blockchain built for artists, creators, streamers, and it's ultimately focused on improving the user experience for people interacting with dApps so that mass adoption is possible. Using a blockchain shouldn't feel like rocket science. So this means that we built NIR with a human-centric design in mind with features like wallets that are usernames instead of long strings of numbers. We even enable developers to hide the blockchain infrastructure layer from the end users so that the dApps built on top of NIR are super easy to use, intuitive, and fun. Um, since it's based on the proof of stake consensus mechanism, NIR's energy consumption is already much more uh, efficient and consumes only a tiny fraction of what other blockchains use. On top of this, we've partnered with South Pole Global um, starting last year actually, to measure and offset all emissions, making us the very first climate neutral blockchain. DeFi is a critical element of building a truly open web. The rise of DeFi over the past year has driven much of the recent interest in crypto, supercharging experimentation and blockchain-based financial instruments and incentives. Actions that could take weeks in the traditional financial systems are possible in seconds thanks to composable primitives of DeFi, and the crypto economy has offered an alternative to unreliable local currencies and the whims of banks for many around the world. Yet the same surge of interest and experimentation that has provided so many opportunities for DeFi users has also made it much harder for new potential users to gain entry. From network congestion to skyrocketing gas fees to the rising prices of many of the, the popular emojis, um, the barrier to entry is now significantly higher for builders and creators just starting to explore the crypto space. NIR is making DeFi more accessible to everyone. In some exciting news, about two weeks ago, eNIR launched, which is basically wrapped NIR on Ethereum. So this means that this wrapped NIR actually becomes an ERC20 token on Ethereum. Um, additionally, with the launch of Aurora, which is essentially the melding of the NIR Rainbow Bridge plus EVM compatibility, DeFi is officially live on NIR and unlocked for all creators and users around the world. All assets originating in Ethereum, which I believe is now in the tens of billions, um, are now also fully usable um, within near applications. So since this launch, over a million dollars worth of ETH, DAI, USDT, and other um, others have crossed the bridge and are being used in the native near applications, um, including refinance and others. So some exciting, exciting ones to come as well. Um, thousands of users have already started exploring these near apps, enjoying the network's web two like transaction times, which are maybe about a second, and really low transaction fees, which are essentially fractions of a cent. So combined with the release of Sputnik DAO version two, DeFi developers now have the tools to enable decentralized governance, issue their own incentives, and create vibrant contributor communities with minimal effort. Developers will also have a choice now between building natively on NIR's layer one or on Aurora, which is actually a layer two sidechain built on top of Ethereum with full EVM compatibility. So you get all the improvements on scalability with NIR, with all the amazing, amazing ecosystem um, applications and liquidity that, that sits on top of ETH. So really, really the best of both worlds. Um, there's also a really cool emerging native near ecosystem and over the next several weeks you'll see a lot more of these core building blocks and components of DeFi on near go live. Uh, many of these projects use the native WebAssembly runtime on near and I'll share some highlights on these core components. So we have a Spudnik DAO, um, which is very cool because DAOs are an important component of every near every protocols decentralized governance strategy. 
In this case, spending DAO, which is the infrastructure for DAOs on NIR, makes it really easy for projects or individuals to launch DAOs, configure governance for their treasury management, um, or upgrade protocol smart contracts. You can do things like set up multi-signature governance um, and you know all sorts of combinations. There is Boring DAO, which is decentralized asset bridge that will connect near assets to Ethereum and other blockchains. And it's also gonna bring um, other assets like Bitcoin to near. So essentially it bridges assets using a DAO operated tunnel, which manages the minting and burning of tokens that are moving through chains. Um, in terms of additional applications, I think one of my favorite ones is called Liquality. Um, it was started by some really, really um, early Ethereum OGs and it's a non-custodial multi-chain wallet that supports um, atomic transfers between Bitcoin, Ethereum, Near, and more. So using Liquality, users can actually custody their Near assets alongside uh, those from other chains um, in a single wallet account, which I think is pretty, pretty rad. Um, finally, you have liquid staking coming through courtesy of Metapool. So staking derivatives and DAO based staking distributions are pretty crucial to the decentralization of proof of stake networks and Meta Metapool is both. So users can stake their NEAR through Metapool which will essentially distribute near through a whitelist of validators and return um, ST near. And then this ST near is redeemable one on one with near. And then holders can receive staking rewards on their stake near in the form of more ST near. So that is really, really cool. Um, and then last but not least, you have OIN Finance, which is a decentralized stablecoin issuance platform. And they essentially enable projects to, um, you know, create and generate their own stable coins. And so OIN is launching a near collateralized stable coin to essentially allow near holders to unlock liquidity without having to actually part with their tokens. So um, that's for all the hodlers out there. And who knows, maybe you'll build the next generation of DeFi on near. So the projects mentioned are just the start of the near DeFi. Um, ecosystem and it's it's still full of opportunities for new protocols, applications, and experiments to further explore and further decentralize. So if you're interested in building on Near, um, take a look at our documentations and our getting started pages. We're at near.org. Um, consider applying for an equity free grant from the Near Foundation to um, you know help fund your project or simply explore through the community and see what you know what opportunities jump out at you to get involved in the near community, join us on Telegram, Discord, Reddit, or follow us on Twitter at near protocol. Thanks.